everybody and welcome back to another episode with Sevilla and we have got our first Champions League game today. Uh, the draw has been made a couple of weeks ago. Let's just show you all the groups who's in. There's some games already been played the day before. So Bayern, Napoli, uh, Krosnanda and Leisure are um, in one group. We've got Real Madrid with PSG, PSV and uh, PAOK. Roma do look like they've won their first game against PA, okay. <laughs> nice for them. Roma will play Liverpool, Young Boys and Coba Haven. Man City will play Marcelo, Old Club, uh, Dinamo Kiev and Sporting. Man United will play Atletico Madrid, Dortmund and Anderlecht. That is quite a tough group. And in our group, we've got Juventus, we've got Schalke and also we've got Fenerbahce. I would expect to come out of this group with Juventus we shall see we've had a good start to the season so far which we'll go through in a second but uh, we should be able to beat Fenerbahce home and away Schalke at least home and then hopefully get something out of the Juventus game uh, Porto will play Salzburg uh, Arsenal and Lyon and Milan will play uh, Leipzig Valencia and Shakhtar now where's Atletico Madrid oh they're in the United group so we have got quite a strong contingency uh, for Spain. We've got Real Madrid, Atletico, ourselves and Valencia. So it's not a bad um, shout out at all for the Spanish clubs. So far this season we've got off to a very, very good start. After beating Atletico 3-2, we beat Valladolid 1-0. Alexandra, who else is going to score? And then we batted Vigo 5-1 away from home. Garcia. Three goals. I think we gave Alexandra a rest in this game, or he might have got substituted and Garcia went on to complete a hat trick. Great stuff. Uh, having him in there and Alexander each posing each other a threat, they're going to perform. And then we had this special goal from Ando, our centre back. Uh, I'm actually going to show you it as a free kick. 81st minute, we was hard breaking them down, we were all over them. But uh, it did take some doing, but it was a free kick in the end. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't expect him to come forward to take it. Great goal. Outside the box, what, 25 yards out maybe? It's a result all the same, which brings us on to today's game. And then we've got Real Madrid a few days later. So, on with the side. We are at home, don't forget, and we are going to adopt this formation. It has worked in the past, namely last season. And we're going to use it this time in this uh, competition. Unless we're playing the easier games, we won't go to the 4-2-4, which I am more inclined to use. Now we've got Alexander there as well. Um, there's nobody really on the bench we can use. Um, we can only use seven substitutions, which is rather annoying. So there's quite a lot of players not um, available. Marino, you can come on for Grinnell. Adrian? Well, Adrian can come on for Dolan. I want to play Dolan, but we're going to bring Adrian in. He seems to be a little bit more fitter. And Alexander, I'm going to start you over Garcia just to begin with. You're an advanced forward. You could play a complete forward as well, which we might change up later on, but we'll see how it goes. Could this be the season we pick up the uh, Champions League? Well, let's start it off. Uh, we did pick up somebody in the transfer window, but... I didn't read the fine print, and we get him at the end of the next uh, end of this season, which is rather annoying because I wanted a centre back for now. So Joan, you're going to be our backup for the time being. But yeah, I was uh, pretty annoyed. We got a good deal on this chap. I can't remember where he was from, but uh, I think he's another Italian uh, defender. But I think we got a quite. Oh, no, actually no, he's a Spanish from Real San Sebastian. We picked him up. I think overall 5 million in total, I think. But there was not an awful lot out there. And Alexandra gets us on the way. His third goal of the season, first in the Champions League. And we're up and running, guys. Up and running. And this one up front, it just seems to work so well. I mean, he gets in front of his defender from behind somehow. Goes straight through him. But we do start off with a fine start. Right, Enrique. We're going to be play we're playing it. Oh, on the head. Who was that at the end? Is that Alexander as well? It's a good cross by Enrique. Free kick, and Enrique is having a go now. He's going to have another go over the bar. 
Hmm, maybe he should have crossed it, because it seems to be a good cross one. But Ando, he's going for another free kick. Well, we're flying him in, but we're not getting him on the target. We're getting him near the target, but not actually on it. We've had 10 shots already. And to say that we're on top of the game is understatement. And there's a goal. Marino this time, his first of the season. The goals seem to be coming from everywhere, which is uh, really nice. It's just not up on our forwards, but we have got 136 million pound of talent up front. 2-0, and we're running away with it. Uh, nothing extra, you don't really want to encourage him a little bit more. Let's go again. Might bring Garcia in as well, but or maybe just leave him out for this game. Alexandra is our number one striker. But if we get another one, we may go 4-2-4 and just uh, see if we can roll that into this season's Champions League as well. And that's a good effort. Was that Diara? Di uh, corner kick, Enrique. I didn't make any substitutions in the last game either. So I'm quite conscious of that, which I want to do it this time round. We're going to bring in... I might bring in uh, Majoski in this one. We're going to rest Garcia. He can go forward we've got quite a lot of complete forwards uh, Fernandez we can't take you off I don't think we can take anybody off at the back so we're gonna bring in Dolan for Adrian and or Adrian I, I don't know why he's Adrian uh, Osuna can come in for uh, Diara as well there we go a Candido who returns to um, his former club he is on the pitch I think I think he's just been put on because of through an injury I forgot to mention that as well, Candido. I forgot all about that. But that's only because he hasn't played. Well, he's not playing, but uh, he has come on. And um, it's not a happy return for him. 2 0. Did he come. When did he come on? Or did he come off? He did come on. Yeah, he came on in the 93rd minute. So he didn't really have much of a chance out there. So probably disappointing on his part. But on our part, 2 0. Sevilla 2 and Schalke 0. Great start in the Champions League. Just hope we can carry that forward now into the league because we have no other than Real Madrid next. Man United beat Atletico 5 2. Wow. Bogarts carries on scoring, but United, wow. They are um, they're a formidable force, it has to be said. I won't mind going to manage them. Dortmund will be another possibility, I guess. Milan, wow. Valencia 2 2 as well. Uh, quality of possession provides uh, our victory. Yes, I suppose it does. We received 2.42 million. I'm, I forgot we received money as well. Praise Moreno. Uh, very good. An assist and a goal. And uh, somebody was spotted. Who is he? Uh, Brazil boss. Keeping an eye on Alexander, Enrique, and Deedson. Hmm. Interesting. Right. We've got Real Madrid coming up next, so what we're going to do, we're going to race over to that and we'll see you guys in a few days, or in this case, a couple of seconds. Right, Real Madrid up now, and we're going to start off with Perez in goal. We have got a few players that are just a little bit tired. I want to bring Enrique, but he can't. He's, uh, he's not in any fit state, to say the least. Okay, we're going to leave it as, as is. So Perez is in goal. We've got Garcia, Ando, Perugio and Fernandez at the back. We've got Arribas and Adrian in the centre. We've got Grinnell, Lasana Diara and Brahim Diara in the attacking midfielder roles. And then we've got Alexander up front. Past meetings um, against uh, Real Madrid it haven't been great. But we did have a very, very good season last season. We remained unbeaten uh, past seasons. There we go. A nil nil away from home and then a one nil win at home. We're still some way behind them overall. Hopefully we can do something here. We're I think we're in a better frame of mind this time round. The table as it stands, we are lining second early on goal difference. Valencia have had that extra game in the hand, which they beat uh, Almeria Almeria 3-1. But Real Madrid are um well like we saw at the end of last season, they are relentless. So they did push them uh, all the way up to the end of the season. They went on a bit of a run. Let's hope we can uh, halt them here as we're on a bit of a run ourselves. Uh, any team would miss a play of that. I don't know who they're talking about, but uh, we're going to carry on as we have the ball. We're in the white, right to left. But uh, Fernandez in the corner. 
Uh, Lasana chests it down well to get past his man. We're playing nice little triangles. Keeping the board. Oh, lovely player, Alexander. But again, we're only playing the one up front, so it's quite hard for him. But Alexander's looking for the gap. He's gone for the gap. Oh, he tried to be thread through. Can't get my words out of there. And, uh, and Ando plays it all the way back to the goalkeeper. If we hadn't have lost Venus, Ando and Venus at the back with Perigio as well. We could have even contemplated having three at the back and having three in midfield. But Alexander's on goal and he slots it in for his fourth of the season. That is how you welcome Real Madrid to the uh, to your home ground. And um, yes, it's taken 32 minutes, but I don't care. But we greet him with our new star by, and it's Alexandra with uh, putting us 1-0 up. A beautiful finish. And uh, Roly-Poly to uh, finish off with as well. Garcia to Diara, uh, to the uh, Lasana this time. Uh, Alexander is going for a goal again. Grinnell, he's, he's peeled off to the back post. And he's there again. Peeled to the back post and then he peeled to the front post. Amazing. Right, Adrian with a free kick. A bit ambitious, I felt. It wasn't a very, very good shot. We should have left it for Ando. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. If we can keep to that sort of uh, performance. And I'm just tempted to use the 4 2 4. I just want to know how that would go. But to be 1 0 up against Real Madrid. Do you risk it? You still want to win. You want to come away with three points. It beat him early in the season. It just sets a tone for the rest of the uh, campaign. Fernandez with the throw and not quite. But Rebus has the edge of the box. But Diara, normally they would go in. But because it's just Real Madrid, they don't go in, do they? Rebus with the corner ball. And it's on goal. No, is he going to get there again? He doesn't. Half an hour to go. I may look to make a change at some point. Ibrahim. So we can have Osuna on that side. And have we got... Uh, we have got Marino there. We've only made the two. I want to bring in either Majoski or I want to bring in Garcia. Alexandra can stay out there for the time being. It's just that midfield. You've just got to keep an eye on uh, Adrian. Um, Lucina is looking a little bit tired as well, so we're going to change it now. Uh, Adrian, you can come off. We're going to bring in Dolan. Dolan can uh, make a start as well. He seems to be left out at the moment with the arrival of um, Adrian. But you play your best team there, and that's a poor ball. Do we get away with another 1 0 win? We're closing the gap on that 15 minus goal difference against the Real Madrid, and also the f this will be our fifth win. So we're not doing too bad. We're unbeaten in three games against them now, which is a nice bit of run that we have um, put together. And we do win another game. This is absolutely amazing. Can't think of anything else to say. I'm going to passionately say a very nice victory. Not many options there for, uh, for that. But that does put us three points clear at the top. Four out of four. And uh, look at that Carunio and Espanola up there as well. Wow. Barcelona, they're not doing too go too great, but uh, I don't really care about that. There we go. What is, uh, at the moment, uh, the season preview? What Again, there to be finished fifth again. I don't get it. We've won the league. We've finished second the season before. I'm hoping that's going to change. But the dream team, we have got Ando. They did have a thing for the players to finish top goal scorer. Now, have they got that? I don't know where it is, actually, to be perfectly honest. But they had the the uh, top uh, goal uh, to be the leading goal scorer this season. And it had both of our forwards, Garcia and Alexander. Alexander to finish top goal scorer. Something like 3-1. to one, And Garcia, 5-1. to one. Very, very good odds. And first and second which was amazing so it was nice to see but we are on a well look at that it speaks for itself we are on a three game run where we haven't conceded a goal one goal in five games we've conceded in the league in fact I don't think yeah we have conceded one goal but uh, that's not bad going but Alexander you just can't stop scoring you put him in and he will score so we are going to be coming back to the Juventus game that is a massive game for us to play we'll come to Juventus and possibly Almera as well. We'll see how we pit ourselves against uh, Italy's best, shall we? If you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you're new to the channel, 
If you're new to the channel and want to see some more, please subscribe. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.